The eastern ribbon snake is the very similar look-alike species to the far more common, common garter snake. The ribbon snake, however, is much thinner. It has a longer tail that may be almost a quarter of the length of its body or more. It has a smaller head. It's more cleanly marked. Most of the ribbon snakes that I have seen have a very clear mahogany stripe right down on the edge of the belly. The small head is maybe a dark red as opposed to olive with a white upper lip. The lateral stripe on the ribbon snake, remember, is higher up on the body than it is in the garter snake. So if you were actually to count up scale rows, that lateral stripe, the stripe on the side, is up on the third and fourth scale row as opposed to the second and third on a common garter snake. The ribbon snake is essentially a water snake, and it's almost always found near water where it feeds on amphibians or salamanders. Um, it's usually found within a very short distance of the border of the water body, or it may be laying out on logs or rocks that actually extend right out into the water. Um, my experience with ribbon snakes has led me to believe that it really is a lower elevation, warm microclimate species. Like other snakes, lawnmowers, baling, uh, and roads would be big threats. The roads, because they're warm and they're attractive places to bask, and the long mowing and baling, as you would expect, because they cut or bale snakes.